if any of you get this, I defy you not to say, Karen, you were right. They're so uncomfortable. Well, hello and welcome back. It's Friday. How was your week? I thought I should do a video, as you can tell by the title, sharing some of the favorite things that I've been loving at the moment. It's the things that I've been using, things I've bought, ranging from Burt's Bees skincare, RH, a particular rug I want to talk to you about, um, a gift from a couple of gifts I got, just a whole bunch of things. So I'm going to go through all of those now. Sit back, relax, grab a cuppa, and we'll go through them all. Actually, let me know in the comments below your favorite things at the moment that you've been liking to use um, or to wear, for example. So I'd love to hear. Okay, so let me go through the first one for you. And it is, actually, no, let me just go and bring it. Hold on, stay there. Okay, I thought it'd be best if I just sit here. It's probably the easiest way to show you. All right, so one of the things I've been liking a really lot at the moment, and this is in partnership with Burt's Bees. I've used Burt's Bees. Uh, since last year, I think it was a summertime. I'll pop it on the screen, but I used one of their lines. It had bacotiol in it, which is like a, a version of a retinol, but a natural version. Well, um, a couple of you actually left comments. That was the video of like Michael and me in our typical day morning routine. You were asking about my skin and my skincare and stuff like that. So this is what I've been using. And I find that, you know, because it's January and the the weather is much more like, it's just dry, it's colder. When I'm indoors, the radiators, the heat is the very like drying air. So your skin is just like drying out. I wanted to find products that wasn't drying out my skin so much and just made my skin feel like always really hydrated. So this line, which is like I said, it's called Truly Glowing by Burt Spees. It's been helping me with that. Like they have a whole bunch of products. The ones that I've personally been focusing on is the gel cleanser, which you can use morning and evenings. The, the main reason I wanted to try out this line from Burt's Bees is because it's supposed to help with boosting moisture like below the skin and as well as above the skin because it has a lot of hyaluronic acid, which everybody, well, most of us know by now, it's, it's really good for like, just moisture. Just, you know that skin that just looks plump all the time? And I feel like that's, you're only gonna get skin like that if it's very moisturized, not greasy, there's a difference. That's the kind of natural face that I'm going for. <laughs> But that's when I'm just doing like my skin and I mean I've got makeup on at the moment But when I don't have it as you can see I'll show in the cutaways that kind of natural sheen to the skin that it can have when you just have the right products on it That's keeping it hydrated and doesn't um, wear out it lasts throughout the day That's the kind of look that I'm looking for it has a blend of like hamuctans and oils and but like the good oils Not like oily oily like grease greasy kind of slick thing. So I use the gel cleanser first which is right here. Um, oh yeah, I'll just show you cutaways of me, just basically my, my routine, my skin routine at the moment using this, this line. Um, so yeah, so it's just meant to just obviously clean your face. Um, and also it has like, you know, naturally derived um, hyaluronic acid in it. And it just to, it just refreshes my skin. And also I haven't had any like bad reactions to using it. I just mix it with a little bit of water and just, you know, massage it into my skin. And I feel like it really does clean the skin, but without sort of leaving it to, um, like it doesn't leave it dry. Once my face is still wet, I just, you know, just run an ice cube over my face. I've always, you know, I've talked about this for about a year now on my channel and on Instagram. Kitchen towel paper, you don't know I've been using that. I use that every time instead of a face towel. The towels tend to hold bacteria. So I just use a clean kitchen towel paper square each time to pat my face dry. And since I've been doing that, I don't know, it's just, I've not done it, I've not gone back. And then once my face is dry, I use their gel cream. It's called their Truly Glowing Gel Cream. Now this I really like because it's lightweight, but it really does kind of like sink into your skin and it feels, my skin just feels really, really um, just soft very, very hydrated like the whole line is. Um, and it feels like it's really sinking in because it lasts all day, that kind of like plump, um, kind of like a, I don't know how to explain, like it's just supposed to help with that whole like glowy kind of effect. Now, when I want to just amp up the glow a little bit, I use their, their glow booster, like a watery texture, but it's actually antioxidant rich oils, but it's not that oily kind of, uh, texture that you think when you hear the word oil. Great complex of, you know, with hyaluronic acid as well. My skin just feels really 
hydrated as with all the Burt's Bees products I like that it's all sustainable recyclable packaging um, it's not tested on animals and yeah just responsibly sourced ingredients and raw materials and just very just just natural I think that's the point of using Burt's Bees made with without any parabens without any SLS ingredients or any other kind of chemicals that you wouldn't really want to have on your skin I'll leave links for it below and yeah let me know if you give it a try okay so the other things i've been loving at the moment and you probably have already seen on my instagram especially on my stories um that hoodie life that's probably the only thing i can describe it as michael's been into it as well which is just wearing hoodies i have just been into like well not just it doesn't have to be hoodies but just sweatsuits sweat suit sets <laughs> God, that sounds so weird saying that. No, I'm sorry, I've just been loving wearing them. I got them in three colors and they were all on sale and I picked neutrals. So I have this gray hoodie right here. It looks a bit blown out there. So that one, great. It's just so easy to wear, kangaroo pockets. So I just usually lay these like over like my jackets and over my coat. So it has like a nice casual vibe when I'm out, like a, a winter white color. Yeah, so I love those. And then obviously this, and then I got this one as well, which is like a kind of a, it's like a taupey kind of cocoa brown tan color. So I got those three and they come with their matching pants as well. And they've been really good to wear. 2020 made us do it, right? Wearing like these kind of things. So I I really enjoy it. I mean, I, I held off for so long with getting like, hoodie sets and sweat sets and all that kind of stuff because I just feel feel like I don't know it's just not me I've just really enjoyed you know wearing them so they've just been so comfortable but like I said I didn't for a long long time I just didn't do it but now especially being at home so much and us doing like renovations around the house and stuff like that it just makes sense for me to just be you know just be as comfortable as i can so that's that and then the other thing which is actually up here so i'm going to show it to you is oh my god this is pure game of thrones this throw i have loved 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 god this rh throw it's faux fur but do not tell me that it doesn't look real look at that it's so so good and look at this hold on I, just, I can't even show it to you properly it comes in about three sizes three or four sizes we just picked the size that we wanted something that was big enough to like have both of us under it like this i wanted something that was going to add texture as well to the downstairs sofa um, and just to have something in the color that i personally love this gray it's so nice and rh is not an inexpensive brand i'm highly aware of that but the pricing of this it wasn't so high that i thought holy crap there is no way in hell i'm spending like a thousand dollars on the throw do you know what i mean it wasn't anything like that i mean it, yeah it wasn't even close to that number but you understand i'm just trying to say that for the pr for the quality that you get this hands down it was it was worth it and then it's funny because i posted it on my stories and somebody uh, sent me a message one of you guys saying that you also have the same throw from RH and you've had it for 14 years and it was like the best thing you bought because the quality of it is so nice and it just stands the test of time and she has no regrets having got it and I can see why because it is ugh, it is so comfortable and I say Game of Thrones because it reminds you of like I feel like this is a Jon Snow Game of Thrones coat right if you are into Game of Thrones let me know in the comments below if you agree that this has pure like Jon Snow vibes. I think it really does. So that I've really liked. And also I'm looking forward to in the summertime when we're outside in the back garden, you know when the temperature drops, like it's like seven o'clock, no, not even seven, later than that, like eight o'clock, nine o'clock, even 10 o'clock at night and you're still outside, right? We've got the fire going, it's a bit chillier. Put this over your legs, just chill out. Anyway, I'm looking forward to just using this and just to covering myself um, and also just over your bed as well because that looks really nice and adds some nice texture and extra layer. But yeah, great. Really happy I got this. It comes in about like seven different colors. So another thing that I've really enjoyed wearing these past few weeks is my leather vintage trench coat that I got from um, Amacord Vintage. They are a vintage shop in on Bedford Avenue in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. And I just saw this and I fell in love with it. It's just this gorgeous, look at that. 
it's chocolate brown shaft i mean this is about as shaft as it gets doesn't it the collar oh <laughs> the 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 collar the rounded collar the pockets even look see that and just like the the outline of the pockets it's nice isn't it it's just so nice and it's actually a little bit too big for me but i like that because i can wear my hoodies underneath it <laughs> the hoodies i told you about earlier that's how i've been dressing it allows me to be able to wear something like a thicker hoodie or a thicker knit under it because a lot of my trench coats tend to be on the slimmer side so it helps to have one that's a little bit like this in fact i have a jacket a trench coat exactly like this almost the same color i got it on ebay but that one has a very slim fit to it i'll show you on the screen so you can see which one it is i have i've had that i think i picked it up the year before last and i love it but like i said i can't wear that a lot during the winter when it's very very cold i can do it with this because it's like i said because it's oversized so it lets me wear like you know like woolly jumpers look I'll just show you again look how nice this is see what i'm saying that it's so nice i love this yeah and like i said it's it's a bit oversized but it also works even with like a thin blouse under it um amacord vintage is brilliant if you ever want to check out a good vintage place in brooklyn they're outstanding you know how i love finding all these cool spots in new york i i am not going to lead you wrong when i talk about these things so yeah i'm very pleased about this so good i was just in the bathroom I just want to quickly show you this mascara that i've really liked and it is the nars climax extreme mascara see i already liked this one which is the nars climax mascara and this one is nars climax extreme in the black this is great all by itself. I mean, you don't have to go any further than just using the NARS Climax. But the NARS Climax is extreme. It's very thick and it goes on really like, your lashes look like vroom, like instantly. Really like vroom, straight away. I'm one of those people, I'm not blessed with like nice, long, thick lashes. Like when you see me on YouTube doing videos, I probably don't even look like I've got eyelashes. I look like I've just got two eyeballs. I'm one of those people that has to wear like false lashes in order to make it look like I've got lashes. That's how thin my lashes are. But this, when you see me in person, you really notice my lashes when I wear this particular one. This liner, hands down, is like one of the best things that I got. This is a fantastic liner and it keeps going. I think I, this is like month three that I've been using this. It's not going to be cheap, but you get what you pay for because this shows no sign of fading, of running out. It's still going strong. It's like a felt tip pen, very, very fine there. You can see it and you can go as precise, as thin as you want, as thick as you want. And it's so jet black. It is currently my favorite eyeliner. Pat, you did good. Boots at the moment and i didn't know this was going to happen i did a, a project with sam edelman and as part of that they gifted me these boots and i didn't think when i got them let's turn this down that i was going to wear these boots half as much as i have since then they look like classic military boots for a start right just military style soldier boots this is the color of them that that is how they look in real life. It's like a kind of like a, I don't know, what do you, I don't know, what do you call this color? It's like a kind of a creamy sort of color. I don't know, let's just go with cream. I cannot tell you how much I've been wearing these bloody things and I have to stop myself wearing them. But I didn't realize until I got them how much I was missing in my wardrobe. Just a pair of plain white, comfortable, combat vibey kind of boots it really does go well like when i'm wearing like anything light or cream like cream jean colors or like the ones from everlane what if i'm wearing sweatpants in the cream color or white color any kind of cream kind of things and i put these on it just elongates the leg i got these in a size 11 and i should have gone down to a size 10 but for some reason in this i guess they just for me at least i feel like they run big and they're great just everything is cream and white all over and these are i cannot recommend these enough and i'm going to link these below if any of you get these i defy you not to say karen you were right they're so uncomfortable because they really are these were such a great great pair of boots to get so i love love where i just realized in the summer springtime 
with like long flowy dresses and you're wearing this because it's not like the the the, the heaviness of like a doc martin like a dot you know a black boot you can just wear these spring they're like perfect for spring and they're perfect for like now as well for like like a, a winter white kind of vibe oh i'm so glad it's let me know in the comments if you do order these because I really would like to know and tag me on Instagram too if you do. Before I quickly go downstairs because I want to show you a couple of things I've really liked. I just want to show you, I mean you've already seen this before but I just, I've really been enjoying wearing the, the Kate Kate strap, the bag strap. You've seen this before but so what? This isn't about showing like new things, it's about showing what I'm reaching for and loving and using a lot right now. And this, I had to put this in because I've just, again... I know I always say this, but I am hitting the ground running wearing the Kate Kate strap again. I tend to wear them more during the winter and the fall time, I've noticed. Maybe it's because it's such a thick leather and I just feel like when it's the height of summer, I don't want anything like sticking to me. I just want it to be like loose and, you know, easy going. This strap, put it on any of your bags and it's instantly, it looks 10 times more exp Look at that. It looks 10 times more expensive than perhaps what it was look at that this mix of metals the gold and the silver it's such a gorgeous strap these are not cheap at all these um, bag straps and for full disclosure I was gifted these straps from Kate Kate um, I first saw them on one of my street style episodes um, if you've been watching them you'll you'll probably recognize these straps on one of the girls I spoke to she had it I thought it was dual that's how luxe and expensive these look in real life they just it just looks like that and i couldn't believe it and she was just talking to me and like this and i was just like listening to her and my eyes were just going straight down like this you know i was just like you know she's talking to me she probably thought i was looking at her tits and i also have it in the leopard print which i think you can see a little bit there on the jw pie bag right there which a lot of you also got by the way that jw bag anyway that's that's another episode of street style where i found that bag but that leopard print um kate kate strap is also really cool and that's like very rock and roll that one i love that and i gifted one to a mate of mine paula um i sent it to her she got it um time of watching this video she got it like a week ago and <laughs> i'm not gonna say anything i'm not gonna pull i'm not gonna put you on the spot here but she was highly appreciative let's put it that way when she got this strap i actually got her the black this one so and <sighs> wear it well girl because i you know how much i love these straps okay so i'm going to take you downstairs to a couple of other things that i've been really liking to use recently are you in here michael he's not in here at all okay so it's just you and me it's fine okay so i'm going to put the kettle on and when i put the kettle on there is something that I have loved using and I've literally, again, I've hit the ground running with this thing because I love it so much and I just had to share it with you lot because it actually goes hand in hand with the other thing that I got. So let me show you the other thing first because it will relate to what I'm going to show you next do with a cup of tea. Hold on. I know this makes no sense. Hold on. As you lot know, I got a fiddle leaf fig tree and i absolutely love this thing i just think it's so nice but i'm so petrified that i'm going to kill the bloody thing because you know i've read so much i've watched youtube videos about how to look after them because they're overall they're pretty like finicky plants um i've got a nice little pot for it from i think it's from home goods this one where i got it they're not the easiest things to look after and me a glutton for punishment i turned around and got another one Here's the other one that I got and it's even bigger and it is stunning and I love it to pieces, but I don't want these things to die. I'm trying to be as careful as I can. But those are literally two plants that I've really enjoyed having in here. I know, God, listen to me. You know you're growing up when you're gonna include in a YouTube video roundup of things you've been loving lately is a fiddle leaf fig tree plant. Daria this is my girlfriend she got this for me and she knows me so well because we text each other because she has the same plant and we're trying our best to not like kill them so she got this <laughs> it's like this sort of the, with a fiddle leaf fig tree on it please don't die this is so cool and she found this on Etsy I'll link it for you below to the exact same seller that she got this 
for me from and yeah she knows me well that's when you give someone a gift that truly it was spot on okay so i'm back upstairs and i wanted to show you you can already see there's something else i'm going to show you that's something i've been hitting the ground running in this particular time of the year and loving but before i do that cheers if you're having a cup of tea with me the other thing is it was related to downstairs i'm going to mention it because it's kind of on the back of like the tree the fiddle leaf tree that i really love this cup as well is a humidifier now i've always had a humidifier um i've never told you guys this but um i used to um cough a lot at nights and we know that we have a lot of dry air in this particular house we decided to get a humidifier michael and i and just leave it on you know in the bedroom and as soon as i got that i instantly stopped coughing it's small it's almost like an egg shape it's really cool very kind of just very smooth egg-like looking shape and it's quiet as a mouse you don't hear it yeah i've just really liked using it and so much so that i want to say less than a week ago we got two more exactly the same one and i've got them downstairs for a couple of reasons one is because i spend a lot of time downstairs and it helps with like the air as well so i'm not coughing when it's downstairs keeps the air basically nice and like humidified <laughs> but also it helps with the plants as well because it stops the air from being too dry for them um, and also for my skin as well just to help it from like drying out i try and do everything i can outside of skin products to help like just behavioral things to help with my skin and to stop it drying out um because i think when your skin is dry it is a propensity to um just get lines faster because it's just dry there's no moisture in your skin anymore to like plump it out um which is why i use products that have like plumping power <laughs> to them like the burt's bees i told you earlier going back to some fashion which is this Woolrich jacket that I picked up. It's um, like a traditional huntery kind of jacket, isn't it? This I got from a thrift shop and it's from the men's section because you know I like going to the men's section and it's just so warm. I'm not even going to put it on properly because it's just, it's just too warm to wear indoors. But look at the pockets on it. It's so well made. You know, when you get a really well put together just peace and you find it in the thrift shop for next to nothing it's just gold this came with a matching pant in the same thick ultra thick wood wool material um i think it's on it's not suede oh wow it feels a bit like a suede though almost so good i got this for i think it was like 60 dollars i think for the set it was amazing so anyway so i wear this when it's really really cold um, and it keeps me so warm and for the price point of getting such a beautifully well-made jacket and then to also pick up the pants that come with it for the same price and i didn't even want the pant i just got it because they sold it as a set which i know i've heard of woolrich and yeah if you find woolrich like in a thrift or vintage shop definitely definitely try it out because that's what i've been wearing when it's really cold and the other jacket there's is of course this acne velocite jacket this is the ultimate for me in terms of when i'm really cold this is actually warmer than the Woolrich. We went to Luminosity City, Randall's Island. It's a light show that they do um, annually during the Christmas season. It is by the water. It was at night time. I think it must have been below zero. It felt like it anyway. It was so cold. It was freezing. I had it completely done up because you can obviously do that. Zip it up here. And then when you do the collar up, it's even got like these ties here so it could be like a standing collar and it sits like here up to me when i when i do it up it sits like there literally my nose can disappear in it so it can almost double as a mask but this is so warm the shearling of this is insane this was obviously not cheap this is acne i think this retails for about is it two thousand dollars or was it twenty five hundred was it three thousand i don't know it's a f load of money for it but I got it on sale. It was um, it was a ridiculous sale. It was like sixty percent off. And then I remember at the time I had a coupon wherever the site was I got it from, and it applied the coupon, so I got it for even less. And this was years ago. I've had this for going on. Uh, I've had this for at least six years, and it is still to this day every winter. It is the warmest thing that I own. I do not own anything that is better than this for the cold weather it still looks as well as great as it did the day i found it because you know the acne brother sites these are kind of like i feel like this almost became like a cult favorite jacket at one point and 
I was madly in love with wanting one and I got it. They don't even make this color combination anymore. And they've also even skimped a little bit. Acne, I see you. They don't have the double fastening with the leather on the neck here. I think it's just one. Um, I think down here there's a detail as well. I forget, but there is a detail. I don't think they do the double strap anymore. There's things that they don't do. It's almost like the Loewe puzzle where they took the feet off the bag after, after a while. They just, they skimp, right? They go, they just take things off after a, a while. So, but this is the original, has all the original bits and pieces and bells and whistles. So yeah amazing so the next thing as well that i've really loved are these i've been wearing these so much indoors and they're great they're the they're by ugg and they are a pair of slippers these are adorable look aren't these cute they are i know you probably thinking oh this is like grandpa slippers but they are so cute and i love wearing these um and if you are an ugg lover look at the inside then you will love these i usually have pretty cold feet and I put these on and <laughs> I am fine. I am, there is nothing wrong with my feet for the rest of the time that I have these on. These are so good, look these. Just for those who don't know, I wear UK eight shoes. I wear US 11 and Euro 41. That's me across the board. Um, it took a while to get this particular color in terms of looking for it online um, because this particular one is was sold out in fact michael wants a pair michael do you still want a pair of these ugg slippers yes yeah so he wants a pair as well and he wants the same color as these so um he i will get him a pair because they they are so worth it i even called ugg by the way in new york in the soho store and she told me on the phone that this particular slipper has just been sold out at the store and they're not going to get another shipment until i think she said like february or something so i hung up the phone went online and i found them <laughs> That's me, that's how I get. I get really like, Ugh. if I want something, I'm going to bloody find it, that's for sure. The bags, hold on, let me just show you a bag that I really like to using. I think it's a toss up actually between these two. I've been really liking using my um, Dior saddlebag. This is the pre-loved one. Um, I got this from Poshmark. I said on it by mistake on Instagram stories, I got it from Vestia, but it's not. I got it from Poshmark and I got it right before the hype of Dior saddlebags came back in and everybody wanted one. So the pricing of this pre-loved was really inexpensive. It was less than $500, which is still a lot, but it's comparatively speaking to so these actually go north of a thousand now. Um, so I got a great deal before the hype. I add the Kate Kate strap and it's been great. And I've just been layering it over a lot of my things and I love that look and it just, it just made me not even yeah it's made me fall in love with just wearing this bag again because it's such a small strap here just the part that the bag has that you know if you've got like a big coat you can't really do this and i don't really want to hold it in my hand either so this allows me to be able to like wear it however i want and then the gucci 1955 horse bit i've really been enjoying wearing this as you can see i've got it on this longer strap you can um, make it shorter so that when you wear it it's almost like the dual saddle like you can wear it on a shorter strap so it's like this like literally just like that under your shoulder that's a snapshot of karen in things form <laughs> or in routines those are the things i've really liked so yeah i think that's it have a lovely weekend as i always say um do give this video a thumbs up if you agreed with some of the things that I have been loving or if there's anything in the video that you thought, oh, actually, I might give that a try. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and you can obviously follow me between now and the next video on my Instagram. It's Karen Britchick here. Um, same as my YouTube channel. Try and keep it nice and easy. This, this, where's my blouse from? Um, <laughs> where is the blouse from? I'm not even sure. I'll leave a link below, but I think it's a senior York. I love the colour of it and just the sleeves. And I will see you guys next week. Have a lovely weekend and um, I'll see you on Instagram. Bye.